In this video, I will answer the number one question I get asked all of the time. What are the best and optimal settings to use in Handbrake for converting 1080 Blu-ray video to H.265 HEVC? Keep watching and I will show you how it's done. Now that I have ripped my Blu-ray disc to the desktop, I'm going to open up Media Info. It's a great free program you can use to find out all sorts of useful information about your video files. I will leave a link down below. So now I have dropped my source file into Media Info, we can see it is 33.8 gigs in size, which is pretty hefty. We have seven audio tracks, six subtitle tracks, and the video rate is about 23 megs for every second of video. That's huge. We are going to reduce that amount significantly. Open up Handbrake and drop your source file in. You will find yourself on the Summary tab. Here we need to change the file output format to MKV and I usually unselect the metadata option as I don't want to pass this info through to my converted file. Next, click onto the Dimensions tab. Everything should be correct here by default, but just in case, make sure that cropping is set to automatic, the resolution limit is set to 1080p, anamorphic is set to automatic, and borders is set to none. Now it's onto the filters tab. Again, everything should be good at the defaults. These settings ensure that no matter what kind your source file is, you will end up with nicely combed progressive video. This is exactly what we want. And now the video tab. We have a few adjustments to make here. So first set the encoder to H265 10 bit. 10 bit can handle a much wider range of colors and gives us a much better encode. Set the frame rate to same as source as there is no need to change this. Next we select constant frame rate. Set the encoder preset to slow, leave encoder tune at none and change the profile to main 10 and the encoder level to 5.1. Now move the constant quality slider to 24. And in the advanced options, copy and paste the code I have left in the description below. Next up is the audio tab. For maximum compatibility, we want to create an AC3 format audio track with 5.1 channels. If your source file has a Dolby digital track, select that. In my case, I have a DTS 5.1, so that's the closest available. With this selected, change the codec to AC3, set the bitrate to 448, and the mix down to 5.1. Finally, set the sample rate to 48. On the Subtitles tab, just click the light grey cross on the right hand side to remove all subtitles. If you're on a Mac, just select None from the drop-down. And the final tab is Chapters. If you don't want to keep the chapters, simply uncheck the box. If you want to keep them, leave the box checked. Now return to the Summary tab. Make sure to give your file a unique name and save it somewhere you will be able to find it easily. Now we can press Start and this will begin the process. Okay, now you can see here that my encoder is finished and I have a new file on the desktop. When I look at the file in Media Info, you can see I have reduced the size down to about 2.4 gigs, a reduction of about 92%. How cool is that? Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one.